Hello, today I'm going to be discussing with you how to create a nice studio style lighting setup to get your renders to look a lot like this. Now I mean like you can definitely get better with like an external rendering engine but I'm not going to go into that today. But this is about as good as you can get with the blender rendering engine like as far as like studio style. So let's get started. So what you want to do is open up a new Blender file. Go ahead and delete the default cube. Add a new plane. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode. And everything's already selected, so you can just hit S to scale and 10 to scale it up 10 times. Hit Enter to set that. Now what you want to do is hold Shift. Well, actually hit A to deselect everything, then hit Shift and right click all the corners numpad 3 to go into side view 5 to go into orthographic and press E to extrude that up so let's start rendering it right now just as it is there that's how it looks like right now and that looks absolutely terrible So the first thing we're going to work out is this is very blocky looking. So what you want to go ahead and do, add, go to modifiers tab, add modifier, subdivide, and set it to smooth over here. Change the view and render to about 5. Press tab to go in, back into edit mode. Press in or this plus thing right here bring up the transform menu. Make sure everything is selected by hitting A. And where it says mean crease right here, you want to change that. The higher it goes, the sharper it'll be. I find 2 works well. If it's too sharp, you can still kind of see a corner behind it and it doesn't look very good. So, that'll work. Let's try rendering it again. It's already looking better, but we need to set up our lights. Go ahead, select this, and press delete or X key to delete it. Hit shift A, add a lamp, and add in area light. And if you haven't noticed, I'm using Blender 2.5. So this might be different, and if you aren't using 2.5, I recommend you just go ahead and get it. But anyway, once you're in your area, um, once you're in your area light tab, change the size to about 10. Press C to go into ta to wireframe. Just kind of make everything easier to see. Hit S and hold control and scale it up till it's just outside of it. The control allows you to scale up in increments. So now what you want to do is press 3 to go into side view. Shift, gonna just move everything up and move it up to about there. Now, what you want to do is under under the rotation, change X to one and Y to one. So that's why it's pointing ever so slightly at the corner, so that way shadows aren't all completely screwed up. Let's go ahead and add in a monkey head. And let's go to side view. Rotate it. Oops, G. Let's kind of move it up. Let's go ahead and render this. It looks absolutely terrible. First thing is, this light is far too strong. Change the energy to about 0.3. Press 3 to go into side view again. And change the distance till it's right above your monkey head. This is like where the light's at half power. Like the power's like kind of 
died down a lot by here. Let's try rendering that again. And it's already starting to look better. Next thing you want to do is want to go and go ahead and check off Ray Shadow right here. And go to the world. Um, and let's try rendering it again. And now you have shadows. Now one thing that will improve this is turn on ambient occlusion, which allows you to have shadows, like nice soft shadows. So go to your world tab up here, hit ambient occlusion, and just leave the things at default. Hit render, and render your image, and now it's starting to look really good. If you wanted to ma reduce the amount of noise like around in here, you just turn up samples to something like 10 but it renders longer and I'm doing a tutorial so it would take longer to render but anyway so now to kinda get a better kinda more studio effect go to lamp add lamp area ah, area go one to go into front view press R to rotate it and rotate it hold control and rotate it till it's about right there press G to grab it and move it up maybe to about there rotate it some more so pretty much now you've got like kind of this thing intersecting it so now what you want to do is go back there and go back to your area lighting tab turn down the distance and change the energy to something like 0.1 something really low now what you want to do is if you render this again I already see it's starting to look more like a studio there it's a bit lighter and everything like that and you just want to leave this at no shadow so it simply just highlights doesn't create a funny shadow. I'll show you what it looks like if you turn that on. If you turn it on, it looks like this and you have like an extra shadow. That does not look good, right? What you want to do is I'll go ahead and have the lamp selected and hit Shift D to, to um, duplicate it and move it over here. Rotate it. <sighs> back to there and now if you run into this again it's already starting to look much better let's go ahead and play around with this a bit let's maybe try and change the color on this one to kind of a cool blue color You change this one to kind of a reddish color. Change this one to kind of like a yellowy color. Just see how that renders out. See? And you can like kind of play around with this and get all sorts of cool effects. Remember, this can be used in other rendering engines. You just have to change the settings and everything, and it makes everything look really nice. Another thing you can maybe do is turn the size up to about 5 on these two. And go ahead and re render that. That way, you kind of get more light. So, I'll go ahead and pull a quick render for you, a nice kind of final finish render. I'll go ahead and add a material to this monkey. Change it to a red color. Just change it to a kind of a lime green color. Like a tune shader. Smooth 
cleanse it out and let's render it. It's already looking cool. Go ahead and change a couple things like the samples on my ray trace here and just go ahead and do some stuff and I'll go ahead and re um, render it out. So here you go, and that's how to create studio quality lighting in Blender. Hope you liked this tutorial. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and favorite. And like. Don't forget to like. So, see you next time.